the Latino community, known for many aspects of their culture. One stereotype, gangs. There's Please. too many factors, not just one factor. According to the National Gang Center, Latinos make up 50 percent of all gang members in the U.S. What makes it prominent in the Latinos is because we are a minority. So any little thing that we do, it looks huge. While the problem may not be as bad as perceived, it's bad enough for police to notice and take action. Currently, more than half of documented gang members here are Latino. Issues were coming up, but they weren't being addressed or there was misconception. Cabanero says 15 years ago, neighbors thought police were racially profiling Latino members of the community. Police say there was a miscommunication and no one to fill the gap. Because of the need of communication and misunderstanding in the community. I think the big issue was that the police was racial, uh, they, they were profiling, they were racial profiling, they, they were just stopping people for no reason, they, they were um, contacting immigration or they will, you know, things. And, and I. From the history and from our policies, I know that it doesn't happen. But police wanted to change public perception, so they built a bridge through Lilia, Medford's cultural outreach officer. Once they see the face and someone that they can speak, there's one less barrier of communication that is there now. Cabanero's job, reach out to the Latino community. She speaks at community events, schools to help immigrant families know what police are doing to keep them safe. The National Gang Center says kids join gangs to find connections and families. Experts say for Latinos, family is a large part of the culture. Imelda Mercado thinks the reason some kids join is because they lack mentorship. The biggest problem is they are alone a lot. The parents work a lot and these kids are being taken care of by someone else. And as they grow up, it doesn't matter if they are with their parents or someone else. And the parents don't speak the language, don't know the warning signs. I know that as a parent, I relate to the parents how much guidance and anything that can help us when we get to the point of not knowing what to do. Cabanero remembers what it's like to be in a new country. She immigrated from Mexico. Like many of the parents she meets, she knew nothing about gang activity. When I came to this country, I didn't know how it worked. And um, there was no one to tell me, you know, this is not allowed. Walking with Lilia, we ran into two people who went to one of her classes on gang activity in the Latino community. It created more awareness, knowledge for me to teach parents about how to get their kids involved in positive activities. Cabanero's connection with these women, obvious, comfort and trust. These two qualities allow her to do her job and help her community stop the statistics and move past the stereotypes. I seen that people trust me. They, I developed this connection with them and they, they trust me and they call me. Covering your news in Medford, Kate Cogiran, News 10.